everybody and welcome. I am the beta plan and this is Crusader Kings 2 with the Faerun Total Conversion mod installed. And uh, I was looking around the map and I noticed something very interesting. Baldur's Gate is being currently led by Ski. Covered in blood. I hope you are laughing, because if anyone played Baldur's Gate 2, we all know how ridiculous this is. Moreover, Ski is a paladin. And a shadow. Not a rogue. I don't know what happened in this version of Ski, who is celibate. But it's weird. <laughs> this is not the Ski we remember. <laughs> if we played Baldur's Gate 2, not at all. I broke a nail. Ugh, what a weird adventurer she was. Uh, there is also this little rebellion that's definitely gonna happen. Somebody's gonna get a... There's gonna be a different power in play here soon. And the no rebellion revolt for Countess Naya's claim. Countess Naya. Is that her? No, that is good, because I don't want her. Who do you want in power? No, I was looking at that and possibly even being the case. Um, Countess Naya Clements. Has to be this one. Married to up here. Okay. Um, we might have some border core coming up. We'll have to see what we can do about that. Uh, but maybe I can prevent this by just forcing peace with. We have enough prestige to do that. Excellent. He just surrenders. No problem there. That is preventing some border gore. And we get Plamonic. Um, sure, but her. Sure, but her. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right. We might die from this, so let's go crazy. That's where I need to do this. My rival. High Chief votes with me. He is still completely on my side, which is fine. I feel amazing. Thank you very much. I might not die from this. Oh, and I'm also being cured from my disease. So now I am just basically super strengthened. I just got basically got super buffed. While well, making my rival my heir because she is amazing. Uh, we'll have to see what this boy does. We might switch it back, but right now I'm not so convinced he's that great. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, my peace timer with Azarak the Devourer is ending, but I don't think I want to fight him because he has 42 wizard points left. That means that along with his 3,000 troops, I assume to summon about 3,000 troops. I want to wait for a more opportune moment. Special minor titles available because apparently we lost commander, sure. Ah, and there it is. We started that in the last episode, but it didn't uh, take an effect. And I already was wondering what that's going to be. But the cult has finally established a stable cell in your province. You are entitled to a share of their profits, so it's only a matter of time before wealth starts pouring into your coffers. Mazo gets secret cult cell. Hidden from the world at large. Yeah, but. This province harbors a small but determined cell of the cult of the dragon. Of course, we are going to consider that that is a cult of the Yaunty Snake Dragon type god. <coughs> we'll give it a twist, just to make it fit. One of the cult of the dragon cells in your land has, is in deep trouble. That was instantly, man. Facing destruction and they are asking for your help to survive. Unfortunately, their time is up. Nope, of course, I will help. Well, that is, that's just sucky. That was just like instantaneously, like, there you go. Hey. Medium post has been built. Uh, temple Vassal Opinion. Let's just take that. 
This young little lady is the best for this from the free that she has a score that she has at least a bonus into learning. So, Sumnach, you've lost your capital. That's still going on. You don't have a lot of forces. I feel like taking a little bit of Sandrach is going to be helpful. I mean, I would like to take the capital, don't get me wrong. But... The question is... Uh, then I would have half of... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, actually, this is not half of Samar, because this one also belongs to the Dutch of Samar. I'm just considering what I can conquer in a, in a reasonable way. There's n no way I can conquer much more than a county. Because, yes, I can do Val Conquest. True. That is, an, uh, that is an opportunity. But I'm not really... For free provinces, it is considerable to do that. To get the, the, the Vile Conquest penalty, but if anything, I would prefer to do that, for instance, on the Vile Conquest of Norvling here, over here. But I think I'd rather have first Ching taken out and then push forward. Hmm. I really am curious what you guys think about me moving my capital to Omu and not having it in Mesro. It feels like Mesro is more right, but Omu is just way more developed. I mean, I know I have tech points. Don't get me wrong. I can push this. I can push some buttons here and, and, and make us more equivalent of... Maybe I should do that for castle infrastructure. At least more tax. Like, 18, 18, 18, 16, 15, 40. I'm not that far behind. By the way, what is my spy master doing? And do we know of plots against me? Yes, we know of a lot of plots. Uh, so we can look at those plots and see if we can capture people with money. Like, no, because I, but I can't stop backing plot. The good thing about this particular thing is that if you catch them on something like this and they stop backing plot, you get a plus 10 pain boost. He says maybe. Let's just keep this guy in mind, for instance. He's at plus 12 right now. I become close friends apparently with somebody. I think actually he said yes. Mm. Oh. I have righteous imprisonment on him now, yeah, because I found out him doing with the plot, but. Oh, he immediately re entered it apparently. Or did I misinterpret it and he di did not stop backing it? Yeah, I will not withdraw my support. So I can... I could revoke it now from this Naga. And place Yanti, and Yanti in power. I don't really want to do that because the Naga Kingdom of Nayara is gone. I and this is dumb. This is the way. To, this is a way I show you to get things done, but I'm not using it because I don't want to. Because I want to keep all the races around that are at least on my side. All the wild dwarves can, can go to hell, uh, but uh, to the abyss, I should say, of course. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, no, sorry, he's not that good. Uh, ooh, no. I am not going to take money from you. I am building, by the way, a war chest. That is what I'm, is currently my goal. Because, um, you know, that peaceful thing, that didn't work pan out entirely. So let's do something else. By the way, here are dwarves uh, that are often the true dwarven... Pantheon, not Ubertoan dwarves like the wild dwarves over here, so they will be a little bit difficult to conquer, but we'll have to see what we can do. Um, man, oh man, oh man, why are we not spreading this culture around in a religion? What is the chances that we have? Oh, there's a split. 
She's being pushed forward. Okay, why are you voting against me for the first time in your life? Wants a seat on the council. You can be the spy master. You are equally in power of that. Apparently we have one that is slightly better, but I don't think that's a problem. So, put you on the council. Does that make you vote with me again? Yep, it does. He is once again happy to support my ideas. Um, man, it's been ten, uh, ten minutes and I haven't done a darn thing, have I? You have a big army out. Your pact is not worth much, but... I rather have... Yeah, let, let's take down Samrach a little bit. Uh, and let's take down the capital, Samargul. Oh. Because this is the most well-developed province. Why do I want to take the, this instead of uh, some of the other guys? Well, it is a feudal holding, so we can hold it much better. Uh, any person we place there will be under right control. This is a feudal holding. Conquer one more thing and voila, we have what we need. And Samrach right now is pretty weak. Hey! We failed, but... This looks like a new king. Yeah! This is a new king. He died of depression. Oh, darn. Still a very... This is a very warlike king. Hmm, this is interesting. A son was born. Don't know why you're in my region. Oh, because I captured her. It's the, the husband of the former ruler of Matolo over here. Alright. Samrah, you're about to get your ass whooped. Now, having said that, be noted that we do have... Uh, they, they are mages, so they can do th interesting things. But, now that we are at war, we can cast things. We can conjure elements. A thousand men regiment in Mesro, I should have called that sooner. For a little bit of maintenance. Let's just do it. Let's just use our druidic powers for once. And you know what? Let us get into combat. We are, we are a druid leading 1,000 elementals to war. I mean, we're going to do the main battles over here. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just lead this battle. The elementals will, will follow, but let's just go here. I mean, she's really not bad. Let, let's couple her to my son. To my possible heir. Nope, not Metrolineal. Hold on. <laughs> Almost did that wrong. There you go. Cult is a... Again in trouble. Like, seriously, the cult has only cost me money by now. At least I haven't seen an event yet that is good. I must be just unlucky. This promise harvest is a small what determined cult of the dragon. Yes, and what does it do? I haven't seen it giving me bonus yet. I assume there are bonuses via events. There you go. I led the battle. Did Goont. A thousand men are coming up from him. I noticed that. Alright. I'm a student of language. Sure. You have summoned a thousand men, I assume? Hired. It's interesting, by the way, that the... the One of my commanders improved significantly. There we go. Crash into that. The, the good thing about being in battle in this particular mod is that, is that it helps you gain... Uh, uh, why, do, why is she in my court when, when she's the arrow of that? Uh, is that you gain experience for your uh, class. So this is a way I can gain some experience for my class and, and, and do better. Oh, I lose the seat full. Oh, how unyanty like I feel... Violated almost. Uh, let's go over here. Uh oh. He 
he summoned something for sure. These are our special summon troops. I think that will still say hired. No event spawned. Can we see? Yeah, he is. He has. He has five hundred fire elementals. I assume, and I have just a special unit. So unfortunately, I can't see what type of elemental I I have conjured. But this is why it's interesting to fight these nations. They 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 can summon things. It, it it's but it still feels doable. The amount of troops they summon are in the equivalent of a a a, a mercenary stack. Whereas we may remember from the troll thing, the uh, well people that are part of the Lord's Alliance, if they are on the top of the leash, they can summon a bunch of darn troops. Let me see if I can find them. Oh oh my! Water deep. Part of the moonshine. Neverwinter, part of the moonshine. The moonshine always go crazy in this mod. This time by a Northlander though. Sometimes oh, sorry, I wanted to hit the culture button, but sometimes it's the folk that win it. Sometimes it's the Northlander that win it. I've seen most of the time the folk, but that could be just my, my my drop. But they go nuts, always nuts. Luskin, Luskin. Oh no, I thought for a moment Luskin didn't own Luskin anymore, but it's just in a, in a revolt right now. Wait a second, is this owned by Luskin? No! The Ufgard barbarians that have overrun Luskin, so all the major trade ports, with the exception of Baldur's Gate, are no longer in existence. By the way, Candlekeep now is owned by... Oh, now is Bergos, which is interesting, and they're married to... Boasker Bridge. Borosker Bridge? I never know how to pronounce this. But that is interesting. And this is part of Baldur's Gate. So Baldur's Gate owns these goblins. They have them under control. Or their their tributary state, I should say. But yeah, that is an... an uh, I don't know why, but the moonshine always go ham. It's interesting that I've been able... To, but it's logical. Like... I'm sieging down this sooner, but this this place is a lot weaker than their true capital. I don't know if there's also a special buildings. No. I wondered if maybe Samargol had that because it is the capital of Samara. Let's go seclude ourselves in prayer and meditation, so we are no longer lead on the field of battle. Could be a, but could be so good. Let's. I lead it again, no question mark. No, I don't. Now I do. Oh, I don't lead it. That's odd. 91%, I didn't capture anyone. That's what I wanted to do actually here, um, by sieging this down. I had hoped to capture one of his children. I become an expert rogue with this siege. No, with this war. Sorry, my, my mistake. Expert rogue. Yeah, we are the, the odd combination of a rogue druid. I don't think many people have played that. Though uh, with, with some spells from druids, you can definitely increase your dexterity up to a point that it is nice. But it is just a bit of an odd combination. I, r I really want to see how you roleplay that you as a dire bear sneak attack. Feels a bit like cranking in a siege weapon. If you get that reference, points to you. There we go. We we captured this completely because she held the held this county. There it is. Some are goal. Ours. That is a interesting little bit of tibbet there. Um Died frothing at the mouth. Well, all my brothers have either been landed or dead or what have you not, so I think I've done well. Could land this guy. But I think you're the heir to the barony, yeah, so I shouldn't do that. Um, well, let's see if we can find another great family. Uh, do 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 I was just about to say, load the filter, that was um, one of the high families, because that was my family. Uh, 
I don't like someone that's cynical to throw down there. We want them to change the faith and we want them to be really working on that. Oh, there you go. You have a twin. You have a lead. I mean, you're pretty... Yeah, the bright is not good enough to land you just for the bright. This is better. A 29, content, wizard. Sasan. Yeah, you know what? Grand land a title to you. Congratulations, you're a wizard in summer goal. That feels appropriate. And I don't know which Sasan house this is, because we have unfortunately found several to be present. You don't seem to have any claims. You were originally part of territory up here. Okay. Here, and there's also Sasan. That's, that's a little bit the disadvantage. A lot of them are. But he has a wizard hand. He has the right thing. I'm just going to go and, and rename it to... So... So... Uh, I'm... Samarash. Like, way too much... Uh, sort of snake-like for version of Samarach. That is basically what I'm trying to make here. Samarach. Okay, so, got that. Pushing them out. By the way, we did gain the Misty uh, Cliff Mountains over here. Or the Mist Cliff Mountains? Sorry, I think it's the Mist Cliff Mountains. Yeah, Mist Cliff. I said Misty Cliff. It's, it's all because of the Misty Mountains that you make everything that's just mist into Misty. It's not how it works. Not how it works. But it's going to be a long time before the Sonrach Mountains will become part of us because we, we don't have these counties and it's, it's going to take for a long, long time. For, funny enough, this peak is not mine because it's called All Realm Provinces. I think this one isn't isn't uh, hasn't been given its uh, name. Uh, it's not been given to the, the Mistcliff Mountains, for instance, and there by it doesn't color. Well, that's just interesting. It's the wild territory that not even the Ozianti this can hold on to this mountain range. Sometimes, it, sometimes it's cool to just zoom in and, and look at the map. Like these are the Miscliff Mountains that, uh, well, are considered part of ours, but we don't directly own them. The Cobalt Mountains. Funny, by the way, that these are called the Cobalt Mountains. And, well, the kobolds are around here, I can tell you that from lore. But there are dwarves around here. But I think it's the dwarves need to have the whole higher holdings than the kobolds are in the, the cave. There is something like that there. But I don't know exactly. So I should be careful sprouting perhaps completely utter nonsense. Uh, commander. Let's put in this dwarf. So you can at least fight for the right thing. Will you embrace the man? No, but he's pretty close. Just out of curiosity. No, the, the opinion is not a strong enough factor. Um, you lose content and gain ambitious. Yes, you hate me now, but you have a better chance of becoming the right... Uh, of becoming the heir. Oh, the heir of the heir. She no... she no brilliant. She gained nothing of the wits of her parents. I have the feeling that, oh, again, I've now helped for over 90 gold towards that cult location, and I haven't received a single bonus as far as I realize. Oh, wait a second, maybe, before I say that, do I gain a bonus for simply getting a bonus here? Cult priest. No, I don't, that's, I think my, that's my rank indeed, that's, that's nothing to do. No, it doesn't help with gaining points with, with the cult of the dragon. Don't know. Don't know what to think of that. Uh. No, intrigue. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Omu has claimed this. Oh, wait, I think I already knew that. But it's still interesting to see. So Omu has expanded. After we took back the Koatil fields. Uh. I mean, we can definitely beat them, don't get me wrong, but it's interesting to note. Oh, wow, this is a trade post. This is... In Perhaps I should have kept on to this... Uh, hold on to this county. Would have given me quite a bit of income. Oh, and I still hold this one, I see, the barony. Uh, let me just grant you that as well. Oh, 
was just about to say, that's the wrong barony I have to feed. That's the right barony, Gemhar. Like, something is wrong here. So distrust. Sure. Finally, that pays off. Because there's several times not at all. And we could run these guys over and then we can claim Samra, which could... Samar, sorry. That could lead us to getting claiming Sanrach. Actually, I should do this. Just attack these goblins. Conquer the snout of Umgar. Uh, and of course, this time we will summon in immediately natural allies. So basically, I think with natural allies, I'm summoning animals. Because that's probably what also this... Yeah, I'm, I'm summoning, like, leopards and stuff. Oh, and light troops. Don't know what that is, but... Oh, special troops. Morale, 0.0%. Don't know what that... Bestial ally. Okay. We have some bestial allies. Sure. Yay! We converted someone to a skilled religion. That's not really what I wanted. I want the whole county, you... Nimnarod. But whatever. And I'm summing these guys simply because I have the points. I have the Drew spell points, so why not do it? What do I have here? Known murderer. Oopsie dipsie, that's still an effect. Right. For me, uh... Disassembling the wild dwarf power. Oh! Your underlings have learned the location of a dragon lair. If only this dragon could be convinced, the cult would be able to create a new Draco Lich. We are going to try... To convert Abbasagil of Elementar to become a Dragolich. This So turning from Baal to this this could be interesting. Let's inform the Dragon Mages. This could just be interesting. Uh, one of the cult of the dragon cells in your lands has been busy and they now offering you a good share of their illicit goods. I gained sixty gold. I spent more to have you around. So basically did not win. You have the cult's permission to initiate negotiations with the dragon you found, if you so wish. Let's just accept, because I find that interesting. <gasps> Beef. Sorry, I, I I know I gasped way too loud, but before it even succeeds, I have made Count Abazagil turn away from Baal and join and become a Dragolich. He is accepted. That is amazing. He is, he, he is it? I don't know what benefit that actually helps. The dragon you contacted has accepted to be turned into a Dragolich. This will improve your status in the cult greatly. Okay, so I gain a lot of cult influence. Uh, and he has turned into a Dragolich. Which he shouldn't have done because he's a young dragon. He can still gain much more power if he just grows older. But he's now a Lich. We've now made him a Lich. He did actually... I, I would have assumed here that there would be a... a bonus. Like, hey, you've made me what I am today. Uh, what? One of these must be true. Is AI controlled? Is AI controlled? Rank up to wearer of the purple. Wait a second. It's impossible for me to gain this? I have enough influence, but I can't do it. Oh, that is annoying. If I had known that... Well, in that case, uh, let's just... Close this. I want a cult gift. Which I can't... Oh! No, I can't do it. Because I had my druid list open? I don't know. Whatever. Let's go there. Ah, oh, darn it. He, he had just managed to do it. Did that kill somebody? Doesn't seem like it. Songs will be sung of this day. Excellent. Uh, how many men can we hold over here? Two and a half thousand. So, was just about to say, let's do at least a Chelton company. This is enough. This is the troop that will conquer this land. Okay, more distrust zone. It's my privilege. I am now aware of the purple. 
do not confuse that with the the the, the, the knights of uh, Cormir, who also wear purple, by the way. I uh, wonder if I can show you that. Yeah, they have a dragon, a purple dragon as their, their shield. So they have purple dragon uh, things, but yeah, uh, she's not part of them, so how in the heck? I'm not sure if they uh, assumed for... No, they have not implemented those. Uh, but not in this way. Hold on, let me see if... Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Game did not enjoy that. Um, Card of the Dragon. No, it's not implemented as a thing. It's also extremely local, so maybe that's why they haven't done it. I mean, in principle, the Shadow Thieves are also rather local, but they do have a more... Continental uh, influence in the way of trade, so they they reach a little further because Arm reaches far. But yeah, I mean, for instance, they are uh, well president Arm, whereas the Shadow Thieves, as we remember, had a quest to take revenge. I think on Waterdeep. Uh, but yeah, you are down and out for the count, buddy boy. And we should almost have all our quest fulfilled. To gain 700 gold. It's almost the end. There it is. So, uh... Started a little bit slow with this episode, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's level up as druid still. I mean, we are definitely... There we go. Now we have gained money out of it. Why did this go down so many troops? Oh, my elements are gone. My beast creatures are gone. Ugh, and now they immediately need help, so once again we we broke even on that. Yeah, I can't say I am really impressed with a cult cell particular. But I guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles. It's interesting to me, by the way, that we haven't had a trouble with, with our fret. Because we have an expanding still, and we are dominating child. We are now multilingual, which should actually any Yonti be. They are hyper-intelligent creatures. Don't know exactly what their base intelligence is anymore, but I know that it's beyond a human. There we go, now we've made money. Again on the cult cell. I would have preferred, actually, if that would just give you more influence or perhaps a chance for a magical item. And perhaps there is, huh? I don't know. There might just be that. That is just a, a rare event that can happen. Why did I concubine you? I don't know. Can't remember. But there it is. There is the war. Here is the peace offering. Here is the revoked title. He will say yes. She will say yes, sorry. And with that, I'm gonna end this episode as we now have the chance to create the Summer Gold... the Summer Duchy. Oh boy, howdy. Allowing us to do more? You know what, I will, because it is outside of our child territory. That doesn't mean that she can do anything regarding the... Uh, the... The voting for things... Oh, I called up a fleet. Wrong short key. Uh, let's do this. Slot zero. Just somebody that's content. Thank you very much. Grand landed title. The snout of Omgar. Transfer of knowledge of the snout of Omgar. There we go. Let her gain power and let her control this territory. This might become... The rulers later of Samara, because they do have the, the capital. But for now, I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.